What's up and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about how the Borderlands movie trailer backlash could delay Borderlands 4. After insanely negative reactions to the live action Borderlands movie trailer, this is a big discussion that needs to be had sooner than later, as leading into major gaming event PAX East, all signs were pointing to Borderlands 4 finally being revealed at the event. While Gearbox hasn't announced an appearance at PAX, there is a small chance that they could have a surprise reveal as the schedule that's been released doesn't have many details on what developers are actually going to appear. So I'm not just writing it off because Gearbox hasn't publicly announced that they're going to be there, but there is a chance that there's no Gearbox at PAX East at all. While I'm still unsure on what's happening behind the scenes, the bigger issue with what's going on is the Borderlands movie. Movie trailer as the Lionsgate's upload of the trailer is now on its way to 70,000 dislikes while you may just assume this is angry Borderlands diehards dislike bombing to prove a point it's actually a lot more than that as it's Lionsgate a widely known distribution company of box office films meaning that even normal audiences who have never heard of Borderlands are shitting on this movie going into the reveal of this movie the franchise was already in a pretty rough spot now with the main theory being that the movie is going to be a hype machine for the next game, the movie trailer being buried online like E.T. for the Atari, it's now left us wondering what this means. And honestly, it doesn't mean anything good. As we had initially discussed last week, over on the Borderlands Twitter account, we were seeing story recaps, starting with one on Borderlands 1 and another on Borderlands 2, which they just so happen to start releasing seven weeks before PAX. There also just so happens to be seven games in the Borderlands franchise. Wonderlands not being canon, I think it's fair to assume that we wouldn't have gotten a recap for it, which makes sense as to why we got the movie reveals last week, leaving four weeks open for our four remaining recaps of the canon Borderlands games. Two days ago would have been the pre-sequel story so far video, and instead, the time where the previous recaps were posted, 11 a.m. CST, came and went. Then, about four and a half hours later, the Borderlands Twitter posted a random Borderlands 3 Director's Cut pre-release video that's years old at this point. Which originally, if you go back to those recaps, I was sure to let everybody know last week during my video on it, and just a few days ago, we got the Borderlands 2 one. Now, these don't mean that we're 100% getting BL4, just listen to me for a minute. These videos are indeed not new, just like the logo that people are being mistaken for as a Borderlands 4 teaser. The graphic has not only been their banner since August of 2023, as seen in the Wayback Machine, which is an internet archiving website if you're not aware. As you can see, in May they didn't have this banner, and the reason why this is important is the Pandora's Box Borderlands Collection was also released in August, and it just so happens to be that they changed their profile picture to one that was promoting the Pandora's box with this banner. You see, where I was wrong was I was thinking that they were going to produce brand new story so far videos for Borderlands 3 and new tales from the Borderlands. Since the ones we had seen re-released were also used to hype up Borderlands 3, it made perfect sense for them to do the same thing with Borderlands 4. But as it is now, it looks like they were just reusing those story so far videos to get the movie a little more juice. We didn't even get a recap on pre-sequel or Tales, which also would have been rehashed. But it was important because the new ones for the later games would have had to have been made for them to actually do an entire story so far. With the time frame of it being so close to PAX East and one dropping every week, I would have damn near bet my kidney it was leading into the BL4 reveal. Then this BL3 director's cut garbage that they posted the other day completely destroyed the odds of them having anything to do with BL4. And this is because it doesn't appear that any new assets are being prepared or produced. And this really sucks for us fans of the series, because yes, we know that BL4 is in the works, and if you don't know, yes, there were leaks several months ago now at this point, probably half a year ago. And I'll leave the links if you want to hear me talking about that. But listen, we're all just chomping at the bit to hear something from Gearbox about it. With us now coming up on five years since the third Lands game was released, we still very well could see this game revealed at PAX. But it's not looking like PAX East at this point. And I hope I'm wrong, and that our original assessment of the reveal taking place there does come true. Or an even scarier thought is that they try and reveal it in a post credit scene in the movie or something. I'm just gonna hope they're not that stupid. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
He tried it. <laughs> because revealing Borderlands 4 to empty theaters is not the move. But then again, the average age of the main cast in the Borderlands movie, and yes, I tallied it up myself, is 44 years of age, despite not a single damn one of them being above that age in the video games. This mixed with a multitude of other reasons that I broke down a few days ago, and I'll leave that in the link in the description as well. But the movie is being completely obliterated across the world. And if they do go ahead with releasing Borderlands 4 this year, I think this could spell disaster for it. I can honestly say I've never seen so much negative feedback on something Gearbox related. Like maybe since Aliens Colonial Marines and that speaks volumes because they were clearly not prepared to be getting this much negative attention. I'd even argue that this is a bigger stink fest than what went on with Aliens. This is quite literally the biggest Borderlands backlash of all time. And surprisingly it has nothing to do with the games. Except it might if this movie is connected to Borderlands 4 and they're trying to use it to hype up the game. The ones of us, myself included, that were somewhat excited for this film, our hopes dwindled very quickly after watching the first three minutes that were shown. And now, we might just see BL4 push back because of it. Now to be fair, Borderlands 4 was looking to be a rushed release to coincide with this film. If it is now delayed, it may just give Gearbox enough time to actually make us something special. Only time will tell, but I'm going to try and keep my head up. Hope for the best, and whatever happens, happens. I personally would not be upset if it gets pushed back, as I see no world where a good Borderlands 4 is released this year. Especially knowing that it's also being made on the exact same engine as Borderlands 3, that being the Unreal Engine 4. It's starting to look more likely that 2025 is where the game might actually be released. But what do you think? Do you think that Borderlands 4 is still on the way? Or do you think that the official movie trailer backlash is going to be too much for them to continue with their initial plan? Like I said, it's really hard for me to see a good Borderlands game coming out this soon after Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And while I already discussed why nobody cared about that game, I really don't want to see the same thing happen to BL4. So please Gearbox, if anybody is out there listening, just tell us something. We're sitting on our hands at this point with this game being dangled in front of us like a carrot. We all know it exists. We just want to know where it's at. I asked you guys what you all thought, and over 60% of you said that yes, you still think that Borderlands 4 is going to be released as planned. While I really hope you all are correct, it's now super hard to say with where the movie is currently headed. We're just going to have to keep our fingers crossed and hope to hear something at PAX. But until then, that's really all I've got for you guys today, and I hope you all did enjoy today's video, and if you did, make sure to smash a like on it and subscribe if you guys are new. Give me a follow on Twitter if you have not already to stay tapped in on everything Borderlands related, whether it's the movie, Borderlands 4, the upcoming book that nobody's going to read, let's be honest, or whatever news we happen to get, just know that Hellfire is always going to be here to give you his honest opinion. But yeah, that's really it for me today, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. But until then, I love you all to death. Please take it easy out there. Stay safe. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.